Are you willing to pay me for a debt that you don't even owe? What should you do when you worry? Sometimes we worry and worry is only paying for a debt that you may not ever owe. How many of us want to go and take money out of our bank, pay someone for something you may never owe them for? But that's what we do when we worry. So I want to give you a few words on worry that comes right out of Matthew 634. And it reads just like this. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. And don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. In Matthew, it's talking about early on in the same sixth chapter about or why are you worried about fashion are you worried about what's going on in this world and how you're dressed and he says take a look at the flowers the flowers are not worried about how they're getting dressed the flowers aren't worried about how they're the birds aren't worried about how they're going to eat that God is taking care of all of that and the same things happening in our lives so here's a couple of things to think about when you are worried and you have that on your mind. Number one, first of all, focus your attention and be grateful for what's right now. There's a verse in Philippians that talks about be anxious for nothing. I'm going to encourage you that anytime you feel that you're being overwhelmed with worry about something that is going on that may not happen tomorrow, you don't know what's going to happen, that you begin to focus on what I'm grateful for now. At this moment, I'm grateful for breathing. At this moment, I'm grateful for having health. At this moment, I'm grateful for my family. At this moment, I'm grateful for all of the things that may have happened to me, but I have been protected from. I am grateful for just the opportunity to see this day. Begin to speak that into your life, and I will. you will see that that worry will ease. Number two, I want you to not get worked up or make any decisions while about tomorrow and what may or may not happen and what you may be worried about. Don't get worked up about it. Try looking at all of what's happening right now and then say, you know what? I'm going to do this third thing. I'm going to trust that God is going to do his part. You do your part and let God do his part. He is willing to take care of anything that is happening in your life, around your life. And remember that you can only control what you can control. And that's you. That's how you react to situations. That's how you act in all of these areas of your life. You have control over that. And I am encouraged to know that with that control that you have, that you will have less stress, you will have better health, if you would not worry as much. And of course, we always encourage you to pray and pray to God because God will give you that comfort that you need. At this moment, I'm going to declare over your life that there's an end to worry in your life. There's an end to that anxiousness that you have and that those things that worry is going to be in your past and that you're no longer going to have that happening in your life. And I'm with you in prayer that you're going to be free and that you're going to be at rest and you're going to have peace that's going to last a long time. I'm still encouraging to produce on purpose. That means produce on what God has given you. He's given you a gift. I want to see great things happening in your life. Continue to do those things and I will see great things happening from you and that God will be glorified. I'll see you next time.